A few things before we kick off, ladies and gents. Despite having access to proper Chaos Marines, the cleanest and most consistent way to do this was in Operations Mode. I'm also going to be using the term Legion, because for the uninformed, Chaos doesn't really do chapters because they do not care about Gilliman's special little book. Their equivalent would be called a Warband, but that has no bearing on today, so we're not worrying about it. Also, I may be making a miniseries for the future of the channel, but that's all I can divulge about that right now. Okay, intro done. Let's get into it. I guess we're starting off awful today. If you enjoy The Emperor's Children, you likely listen to music exclusively produced by P. Diddy and R. Kelly. Your YouTube search history includes almost exclusively disgraced Minecraft YouTubers and Cocomelon. Your favorite movies are produced by a certain pair of brothers with the last name of Weinstein. You will only eat at Subway but won't tell anybody why. You only have interest in taking vacation to the Virgin Islands. You will only travel on Virgin Airlines. And you will only accept food made with extra virgin olive oil. You dream of growing up to be an elementary school gym teacher. And you're most definitely verified on Twitter. You disgust me. Actually, you disgust all of us, and I hope Chris Hansen asks you to have a seat next to him, provided the booty warrior hasn't made him unable. In all honesty, you should stop associating with them wholesale, even if you just love the sex, drugs, and rock and roll portion of them. It's not worth being associated with the sex offender shuffle. You are the exact same as the Imperial Fists, except there's a reason that your kids don't talk to you anymore. Instead of being introspective about the matter and wondering how you can improve upon yourself, you just decided to keep on blaming that ex-wife of yours. Don't get me wrong, you are a pragmatic and straightforward person, but a piece of driftwood is more emotionally nourishing than you are. For some reason, you're probably under the impression that hugging your kids and saying you love them would end up making them gay, but you also enrolled them in a wrestling program. Your mental gymnastics confuse all of us. Your style of parenting is directly responsible for the fans of the next group, and that's more of an admonishment than it is an accolade. Uh, there's two types of you, and the first is significantly more frequent than the second. For the first, people are intimidated by you for no good reason. No one has ever seen you get into a fight, but you talk a big game and lawsuits are expensive, so why bother proving you wrong? You're basically a chihuahua. But the worst part is, you actually believe your hype. You are what my old therapist once referred to as a walking life sentence. Because at some point, there will be someone willing to call your bluff. When that point arrives, that somebody is going to force your face into an arranged marriage with the dirt beneath your feet. You are the dipshits that inspired the dumbass tax. Please choose another career path other than being a fake badass. The second is what the first one pretends to be in full. Some of you definitely have anger issues. Let's not understate that or pretend like it's not true. But most of you seem shockingly well-adjusted at face value despite having been run through the mud time and time again. Now you're not necessarily keeping it to yourself because you're afraid to trust others enough to tell them, it more likely sits somewhere in you feeling guilty about burdening someone else with your problems. So, instead of treating your own issues, you bottle them up and you live vicariously through the lives of other broken people that you attempt to repair instead of addressing your own inadequacies. Which, you know, that makes sense, I guess. For most people, adopting everyone's problems would be a crushing task, but for you, it provides a higher sense of purpose. Somehow, it's much easier for those people to be the kind of person they wish would help them instead of actually facing off with the traumas that plague their own mind. Still not sure how you ended up deciding on the rage monsters other than them being misunderstood victims, but you do you, buddy. This is another group of folks that's not all that incredibly similar to the actual Legion. Let's address the elephant in the room first and get it over with right away. You. You are the elephant in the room, you fat, smelly bastard. But don't worry, that's the only cheap shot I'm taking at you guys for once. Don't get used to it. You are in desperate need of any sort of affection, platonic or otherwise. You don't need anything crazy, just one simple act of affection from someone to prove you are worth loving would make your entire year. 
You are far too willing to overlook the negative qualities in somebody simply because they said they would give a shit about you. You are in desperate need of self-worth, but have fallen under the impression that it is gained from the validation of others. This has resulted in a string of horrible relationships that you keep rushing into because God forbid you ever be alone. You should figure out how to love yourself instead of relying on others to do it for you, but knowing you, you're never going to learn. Good luck. You are under the false impression that everybody else is the problem, and it shows a remarkable lapse in judgment on your behalf. Let me tell you something. Pull up a chair. If you go through the day and you meet one person who is an insufferable prick, that guy is an asshole. But if you go through your entire day and everyone you meet are insufferable pricks, I hate to break it to you, bud, but you're the asshole, and you guys seem to be in large part on the latter half of that. There is not an amount of hoops numerous enough to be too much for you to jump through in the means of not accepting responsibility. There is no mountain you won't climb, there is no sea you will not swim across if at the end you find someone that you can blame for what was clearly your fuck-up. Either that or you bought a magic kit when you were younger and for some reason that's what you decided you wanted your whole personality to be about. You do not do a lot of remarkable things, but you most certainly can commit to the bit far beyond the lengths that anyone else is willing to go to. I'm pretty sure at this point in time, there's only like four of you, so I'm not too worried about the backlash on this. Your Primarch pretty much went through the entire Anakin Skywalker character arc, yet somehow, the bag was still fumbled. You're one of the few I don't even know what to make sense of, because I still see a total zero individuals repping this set. Congratulations, you are the first group to have me completely stumped. You overwhelmed me with the sheer weight of how unremarkable your legion is beyond being filler bad guy number six. I'm pretty sure your existence has been relegated to your boss having a plot armor off with Gilliman, and that kind of sucks. I hope it gets better for you. This is nobody's favorite. If it is, you are wrong. You guys are pretty much the Black Templars, except you can't fight. There is no other distinguishable differences. You are a bastard, and you wear it as a badge of honor. To be honest, I respect the hustle. Unlike the Thousand Sons, you don't blame people for being the jackass that you are in your heart. You accept that it's who you are, so you might as well just shrug your shoulders and go along with it. You're not even going out starting shit because you have some notion about getting vengeance upon a world that wronged you either. You're doing it because it's the only thing so far that you've been able to find funny or entertaining enough worth pursuing in life. This is probably how you're going to be in perpetuity. Unless, of course, you get unfortunate enough to stumble across that one in a million night lord, you're never going to change. So, are you hopeless? Uh, yeah, probably. But will you ever give a shit? Uh, most likely not, no. Now, as usual on the exit, a couple of things to listen to. If you ask me to do other chapters, that does not influence me whatsoever. I will get to them when I get to them. Most of the time that somebody asks for a chapter, it is already made in a different video, so please start looking before you leap. If you ask me what it makes you if you split between legions, I also do not know, but I'll tell you this. I'll tell you what it makes me. Not your goddamn therapist, sweetheart. We are going through menu items here. This is not Chipotle. We aren't assembling it from scratch. These are bar standard generalizations. With that all done, all I've got left to say is join the gaming discord if you're old enough, and thank you for watching. Have a good night.